All right. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Don, and uh, back. It's been a minute, but uh, yeah, tonight I was feeling a little nostalgic, so I was going back over some of my oldest videos, and, and man, it all started right here, me wearing this goofy Starfleet hoodie and uh, playing Elite Dangerous in my battle chair and my DK2, and I thought, you know, obviously I've got a much better setup now, uh, but uh, we'd take it back and uh, do it in the Quest 2 and the Yaw, and uh, just go out and fly. I haven't been an Elite in, oh man, almost, almost a year. I think it's like seven, eight months since I've played in this game. So, all right, uh, let's let's jump in there and let, let's let's fly. Now, uh, a little disclaimer: you're probably not going to see a lot of rotational motion out of the chair because I am using the Quest Two. Uh, that actually, uh, unfortunately, uh, I can't get motion compensation working. I've never been able to get motion compensation working in anything other than my Pimax headsets for the the Yaw, which is unfortunate because I'd love to do the the wireless virtual desktop I know there's a, another youtuber out there uh, I cannot remember construct Brian I, I can't remember his name uh, he's in the y'all VR discord and I think he's about to put out a tutorial video on how to get it working in the quest to um, wirelessly uh, with motion compensation so definitely looking forward to that I'll be looking forward to seeing if I can make that work because that would be amazing to have this completely wireless without all this junk going to my uh, y'all but anyway all right uh, like I said let's let's jump in and let's 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 fly so make sure yes all right looks like everything's actually working for once Okay, so I, you know, I don't even remember where I left off. I think I had been doing some bounty hunting, um, and, and I just, like, left off of the rings of Saturn, I think, because I'm actually in the Sol system. That's, uh, that's one of those things that's awesome, is, uh... Since I was an early backer of the game, I actually get access to, to go to uh, the, the home system here. Um, I don't know if they ever changed that. Um, I didn't really keep up with the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, when you, when you buy Elite, um, unless you were an early beta backer, you don't automatically get a pass to go to Sol, uh, to go to Earth. So... God, man, I freaking miss this game. Oh, it just looks absolutely amazing. The density of all of the asteroids in this rings and dust particles and... I mean, sure, we've got a little bit of texture pop going on in the background, but I... Shit, it's still... You know, like I said in the uh, in the, the written description, this completely stands the test of time. Uh, I mean, completely stands the test of time in VR. It is still one of my most highly recommended VR experiences if you are into flight games. Alright, what you got? No, you're clean. You're no fun. I can't shoot you. Oh, man. And you know, even though I don't have the full motion from the chair tonight, I mean, I just have like a little bit, and I've, it's, I've even got a little bit of clay, a play in the cockpit doing it this way, it still just adds so much immersion to this freaking game. To, to, to any game, I mean, because it's not just the motion, it's also the rumble and, and the seating position. It's like I really feel like I'm like my knees are kind of bent on this little metal right here, and, and it, it kind of feels like that in the game. So, plus, I've got the real Hotas that's actually in this game. So, I mean, it's just it's kind of cool. All those little things that just trick your mind. So this is like a dead hole here. Like I said, I just jumped back into the game. This is where I was. Maybe we should go ahead and get out of here. Stand down. Break mass lock. Clear mass lock. 
Powering engines. Afterburn is engaged. There we go. There she is. Transferring power to engines. Stand by. I love how it kicks back when you do the uh, afterburner. Alright, so let's see. Where are we? We are off of Saturn. Um, I think I'm going to go over to Titan City real quick and refuel and rearm. Because there, hell, there's no telling. I mean, I may not. I may not even be able to fight right now. I may be completely drained on my weapons. No telling where I left this bird just sitting seven months ago. Eh. Every time I fly over the rings of a planet, I feel like I'm, like, I don't know, I feel like it's Voyager. Nice. Oh, wow, that feels good because you can really feel the speed when you, like, have that surface underneath you. Ooh. Oh, guys, it just doesn't get any better than this. I swear. Never in my 51 years of nerdy life have I, have I ever thought that I would be sitting in my freaking living room, or, well, in this case, in my patio, enclosed patio studio, I don't know what it is, but, and, and flying a damn starfighter, and feeling it, oh my god, the motion, I, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta say, just for a minute, I am so bummed that I didn't get the chance to go to CES this year as planned, um, Unfortunately, those plans got canceled uh, pretty much at the last minute, so I do apologize to the Yaw team if they are watching this video for uh, not being able to meet you guys in person. I, I mean, we've, we've been talking back and forth by email for over a year, and you know, you guys have seen a lot of uh, content using this simulator on my channel, and I was looking so forward to meeting the team in person, and obviously getting to try the yaw too, um, you know, so uh, I, I cannot wait to sit my butt in that chair. Bring it in nice and slow there. I'll sling around Titan here. Oh, that's a nice little silhouette right there. Now, I have done a couple of INI tweaks in the game over the years, uh, adding like 8K planet textures and an enhanced sky field and, you know, stuff like that. I'm surprised, actually, though, that my dashboard is back to the original orange um, or amber. Looks like my very first PC monitor. No color, just that, just amber. <laughs> Boom! Oh my god, I forgot how big these studio, these stations can look. I mean, man, it's just, this game is... Whoa, I'm in my neck. Okay, hold on. I gotta do a little trick here. Because there is no motion compensation. Oh, I forgot you can see inside the rings. Ha ha ha, that is so cool. Uh, anyway, hold on. Reset Oculus. There we go. Now I won't feel like I'm flying back into my neck anymore. Let's dock this bitch.
Power to engines. Power to engines. Thank you. You're welcome, Commander. <laughs> I love this game so much. Oh, God. And then when I start talking to the computer, I feel like I'm in Star Trek. I am not Spock. And you are not Captain Kirk. Well, obviously I'm not Captain Kirk. I've got the, the next-gen uniform, you know? I mean, I, 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 and I wouldn't, I mean, I mean maybe Riker? I, I don't know, you know? But, uh, I don't know, you know, you're definitely not Spock, but, but you sound like a Vulcan. Are you a Vulcan? I am Vulcan, yes. How are you a Vulcan? I am the result of a Vulcan mind meld with an artificial intelligence. Complicit with Vulcan traditions and arguably more efficient. However, I do not practice the many rituals associated with Vulcans. It would be illogical. This uh -huh. is because I do not have to consider controlling my emotions. I simply don't have them. Well, that explains a lot. So, you know what would be logical is if you uh, request docking. Seeking permissions. Unable to comply. Unable Oh, not close enough, eh? Request docking. Request complete. Scan detected. Still not close enough. Request docking. Sending docking request. Commission authorized. Vector for approach to landing pad 06. Whoa, oh, what the heck? Okay, well, duh, I mean, I guess it did say slow down for auto dock, but I don't ever remember putting the docking computer on this ship. So I wonder if this is something new for all the noobs that could never get in the mail slot here. I used to actually like to automatically, I mean, not like automatically, like manually fly it in because I'm damn good. I'm just saying. That's okay, though. This is kind of cool. It's like a motion ride. All right, and I guess since we're docking here, I am gonna just quickly jump over and uh, see if anybody's even watching. I, you know, it's been like almost a month since I've done anything on the channel, guys, and I do apologize for another, um, another absence. I mean, you know, just just disappearing act there, but eh, a lot of crap happened in a very short time again, and my my sister and my brother-in-law got covid and he got like stupid stupid sick to the point where he was in the hospital and we were worried and then my pc broke and i'm i, I did start a new job finally employed again so thank god for that so we'll see how that goes anyway all right let's see if anybody is out there and watching right now and wants to say anything so hey shojo what's going on man um yeah, you know, Shoujo, I, like I said, it is it is a pain in my ass, man. I cannot get it working in any headset other than the 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 the, the Pimax. I mean, the 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 Pi Tool motion compensation is spot on. Um, so, and hey, Eric, what's going on? Welcome back, Don. Yeah, man, it is good to be back, brother. I I I've missed everybody. I. You guys know I get in funks sometimes, and, and just with everything going on, man, it is just kicking, life is just kicking my ass. It was like, what is it Norm used to say on Cheers? Like, life's a dog and I'm wearing milk bone underwear right now, you know? But it's getting better. It really is. Uh, it's like I just started this new gig, and it's, it's, it's looking hopeful. So anyway, enough blah, 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 crying in my beer crap. I promised myself I was not going to do that on this stream since it has been a while. So, all right, let's go ahead and refuel. Okay, we didn't really need re repair, but we definitely needed to restock. So I think we were out of missiles there. All right, uh, balance power. Balance power. Resetting. Oh, and one more thing on the stream, guys. If you could let me know if the audio levels sound right, if the game is not too high or I'm not too high there, or if the, the mix is good. It, it's, I've, I've been having some trouble with that. So I just want to make sure you can hear my voice in the game um, at nice volumes. So 
Anyway, all right, let's get back out there. Let's go shoot at something. Launch. Pre-launch diagnostic checks. Now, I will say stuff like this is where I miss, I really miss having, uh, playing this in my Pimax AKX, though. Because when I can put on full motion compensation and get some yaw and the, the chair starts spinning, oh, whoo, it's a whole different, whole different ball game. Uh, man, I remember when you couldn't even fly in one of those stations. It was like so juddery in the old DK2 days, but we all suffered through it. And, you know, as I do every time I play this game, I'm going to shout out, pour one out for the homies. Uh, man, I miss you. I love you guys. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I am talking about Chris, UK Rifter, and Greg, VR Gaming Evolved and Caleb uh, and IG88, all the VR spies guys, we used to get together and play this uh, often, but mostly me, Chris, and Greg, and oh man, I miss those days. I miss those days a lot. You gotta get me another crew going. I've been talking about that with a few people. I'm thinking about trying to, uh, I don't know, maybe recruit some up-and-coming content creators to form a VR Spies 2.0 or something. I don't know. We shall see. Yeah, put my weapons away. Put it away, Don. Zip it up. Alright, so I am just mainly sticking around Saturn tonight. Um, I'm just, you know, I haven't played in a long time, so I'm just going to do some bounty hunting. Because really, to me... You know, I know a lot of people play this game and they get like super serious about it and making all the money and ranking up. I just, I think it's the best damn Starfighter game out there in VR and it is gorgeous. It is still gorgeous even to today standards and uh, I, I like to pew 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 and shoot stuff and fight. And uh, it's great in multiplayer, too. I'd, I'd love to actually eventually, in VR, get in another ship with someone else. Like, a ship that has, like, the big ships that have the multiple seats and you're all on the bridge. Because, obviously, you guys know I'm a huge Star Trek nerd. So. Alright. Woo, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Uh, the only thing I really miss when I do these streams is playing my music. I have a few things in here that I think won't get me any sort of copyright just because they're like remixes from like 12 years ago on old weird CDs that I got from magazines called like the best MP3s you've never heard back when mp3 was a thing you know like it was the first thing like limewire that's all i'm gonna say you know limewire if you know what i'm saying there you're old like me and yeah <laughs> you suffered through it i've suffered through it all man the browser wars netscape it was hard it's hard out there on the digital frontier of the early 90s. Alright. But, you know, I just, that's, that's one thing I really, I'm going to rant about that for one second here on the stream. I love playing this because I've got like a complete deck of music that I play and I fight to and I fly to because I, I get into it that way. Some soundtrack music, you know, some nice ambient background stuff. Why in this day and age when all these music companies and all these fucking rock and I'm going to say fucking cuz I mean, it just pisses me off all these fucking rock stars and all these big fat cats that make all this fucking money why the fuck do you give a shit if if I play some damn music on my YouTube channel and and make 30 whole goddamn cents off of it I mean Jesus come on for real that's all I'm going to say because otherwise, man, I'd have some cool tunes and this would be all choreographed and it would look cool for you guys. Yeah, man, but frame shift, no, I don't want to go into frame shift. All right, but enough of that. I'm starting to get salty. I don't want to get salty tonight. All right. Okay, we know those are security. They're green. Uh, but 
but who are they chasing? No, oh, you are wanted, sir. Red alert. Whip it out. Whip it out, girl. Okay, cool. I got a hit on him at least. Yes! Okay, like if you get one hit on anything that somebody else is shooting at, you, you still get part of the bounty. Now, obviously, I would never encourage doing that to an actual player, which you can tell the difference between their, you know, actual players and NPCs um, by what they are on the map here. But, you know, you take it where you can get it, guys. Because this game is all about making money. Well, I'm coming to your flank. I don't even know who you are, but... He's in a wing. Okay. Slide up past this asteroid. Uh, did I get a piece of him? Balance power. Next target. Next target. God, well, there's a lot of cops over here. thinking these holes done dried up oh my god that is so cool how you can like see the ice I mean it, you can totally see the, the the little like almost translucence of like where the ice gets thin if that makes any sense and the dust I've, I've never I, and I never had a system that was able to turn up the graphics in, in Elite Dangerous. And I so to me, in ways, this is almost like playing it all over again for the first time. Power to engines. Diverting power to engines. And you know what I gotta say? I'm actually not hating on this in the Quest 2. Like I said, normally I would be playing this in my Pimax because that's how I play sim games. It's wide field of view, it's super high resolution, you, you can't freaking beat that 8KX, I'm sorry. I'm just hands down. I haven't tried the Varjo, so, I mean, I can't say you can't beat it, but, you know, out of everything I own, you can't beat it. And I, and I own like 16, 17 headsets. And so... Uh, by the time I get over there, everybody's going to be finished battling. I may have to leave this and go find a different extraction site. Mm, go creep on this guy mining. If it's a real player or not. Yep, you're clean, but I'm not, I'm not gonna kill you. I just wanna watch your cool laser beam slice into this asteroid. Never done any of the mining myself. So that's kinda cool. Oh, I love that feeling when you're using your thrusters to do like a a, 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 a tight reverse turn uh, and then all of a sudden you like pop it and it goes forward. Woo! This game is exhilarating sometimes. Oh, what are you doing? You're just hiding out. You're hiding. Nah, you're clean. Come on! Give me something to shoot at. 
I've already scanned you. All right, we're getting out of here. Stand down. Clear mass lock. And that's already done. After manners, maximizing engines. Power go, girl, engines. go. Stand by. Okay, standing by. Here we go. Let's see here. Um. Oh, you can land on Mercury? No way. For real? Oh, I did not know that. All right, let's go. Let's go take a little trip over to Mercury and drive the buggy. That's also fun to do in the yaw. So that is not going to take 3.2 days there. Um, as you see, that is ticking off quite fast. So while we're making our little journey over to Mercury here, I think I'll jump over and check and see if anybody is out there. And uh, if anybody is watching the stream, thank you so much for coming by. So there we go as we take a little flight here. So hey, we got the real Superman 217. I need to get back into the Elite myself. I, yeah, man, I tell you what, like I was saying just a minute ago, that uh, the real Superman, that is my biggest, biggest regret this month is, is I, I was supposed to go to CES and I was all set to meet the team for the very first time. I mean, I've been talking to them for well over a year and I was going to get to try the Yaw 2 and interview those guys and, and everything just crapped out. And, you know, I guess because of all the COVID crap and, you know, people that I actually directly know who got COVID from going to CES 2022, it, I guess I'm kind of okay. I mean, I'm double vaxxed and boosted, so I, I wasn't super worried about it. It, but obviously I wanted to get an early look at, you know, the Pimax uh, headsets uh, that, that are, um, you know, uh, and I wanted to see the Yaw 2 and uh, uh, neither one of those things happened. So hopefully, hopefully they get back to shipping the, uh, they, they get to shipping them real soon because, because I am super, super, super chomping at the bit to get one here in the studio to, uh, to, to change out for the old bowl here, but still loving the old bowl. So, all right, we're going to get back to it here. So, all right. There we go. And see, now we're not 3.2 days away. We're only 40 seconds away. So, <clears throat> it's amazing. Travel of the future. Yeah, so. All right. Uh, dude, I, you know, man, I just, I do. I'm going to start playing this game way more often again in my free time. I miss it. I hate this silence, though. <laughs> like I said, I am so bent. Oh, I've got open comms. Open comms. Whoa. Oh. Oh god, do I want to fight? No, I think I'll just escape this. Because I really just want to go drive the buggy. And then I'm going to fuck. I'm probably going to drive it for a little while, talk to you guys for a few more minutes, and then I think now that the kids are fully in bed and the wife is asleep because they don't give a crap, I am going to go fire up Disney Plus and watch That's The Eternals. Nice. Of course it's nice, Flying Girl. Thank you. It's me, Make Make. We're going to go to Make Make. I'm going to fly, fly over to make, make. Mm, God, that, that enhanced skybox looks really, really nice. 
I will say though here in the quest 2 the one thing I notice is space is a little gray so I do miss that is the you know this game I, I will say <laughs> I don't know why or maybe it's just nostalgia memory but it's something about the DK2 and I think that's probably the OLED screens it 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 ah it just looked whoa whoa coming in hot oh yep blew that one um, it just space looked inky black and you know I mean it just looked absolutely incredible uh, now obviously it looked like you were playing in a jumbotron that was inky black and you know but but man just something about that that blackness it, it, it just added to that that vastness feeling so, really looking forward to when we get back to using, you know, I like like really looking forward to the the QLED, the the Pimax. I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the 12K QLED is the is my number one upcoming headset that's on the radar. Um, so, and that's not just because I'm a Pimax fanboy. I get called that a lot, and I hate it. I'm not gonna lie. I love all VR, man. I I love this Quest too for a lot of different reasons. But I do a lot of sim gaming, and that's why. Oh, look at all the pock marks all over it. It's amazing. I've never seen all of that since I turned up the textures. But you know, I love all VR. I mean, that, that's my. That, I'm just. I'm so happy right now to see the explosion of new users we've just gotten into the uh, the community over VR uh, over Christmas. Uh, getting Quest 2s, you know, I mean this headset is really really Doing the job when it when it comes to adoption uh, So, you know if that's the case more power to it uh, oh, Let's let's take a better vector here. It's your vector Victor Roger Roger over under that was actually the first thing I ever won in my entire life was tickets to the movie Airplane. Oh, hey, and and speaking, oh no, Nate, man, I can't right now. I'm I'm in a live stream here, and you know, hey, wait. Speaking of winning something, so hey guys, um, for anybody who is watching this stream, you came on the right night, and I know this is all unannounced, and I hope there are people watching this stream that actually have a Quest 2 and live in the U.S., because I've got a couple of $30 Oculus Store codes to give out uh, uh, that I need to give out uh, that are only good till the end of the month, so I really need to give those out. So... I love the rumble. I love the rumble in the chair, and you can hear the creaking of the glass. Ugh. All these little immersion factors in this game. Dude, I'm going to have a fun time jumping the buggy off of that, into that crater. Nice. Woo! Take her down, take her down. Uh, going down kind of hard. Let's get some thrusters. All right. All right, now let's just take it in. Screw it. I need to get this bird on the ground. Oops. Prepare for landing. 
as you wish. Lower landing gear. Deploying gear. And why are you not deploying my gear? Oh, there you go. It's just slow. Alright, there we are. We are on the surface. So, let me see here. So, okay, I just jumped out real quick before we get in there. So, hey, thanks, Real Superman. I appreciate it, man. Um, so, um, Z Zalorg, uh, how is that game compared to Star Wars Squadrons? Well, okay, so, yeah, actually, I love Squadrons. And, and I, if you go and look at my main catalog of videos, you're going to see there's quite a few of, game, of me playing Squadrons in this, in this same setup. It, it, it really is a different beast. I mean, Squadrons is a story, nar narrative-driven, or just straight multiplayer, you know, combat simulator, where this is uh, pretty much the entire Milky Way galaxy fully explorable in virtual reality. I mean, everything that we have mapped as a species is actually in this game, and then everything that we haven't is just extrapolated. There's an alien presence, there's a huge galactic backstory, so this is more like existing in a universe where Star Wars Squadrons is more like just playing a game, if that if that makes any sense to you. So, and there is a new module for Elite here where you can actually get out of the ship and walk and fight and do first-person shooter stuff now. And, you know, unfortunately, Frontier is kind of backseated VR. So that's, that's why, that's why we, uh, that's why I'm not all about it. So, okay. So, let's see here. How many people are watching? We got four people watching here. So, um, I am going to throw one of those codes into the chat. So, hopefully, um, if you get this code, um, keep in mind it is valid only in the uh, US um, so if you are out of the US uh, unfortunately that's not gonna work for you or maybe you can use a VPN or whatnot um, but uh, and it only is good until the 31st of this month but here you go guys uh, grab it before anybody else does there is a $30 Oculus Store gift card for you just for coming out and uh, checking out what I do tonight. So, all right. Let's drive that buggy. Okay. Um, I think I can do this by voice. Deploy Scarab. Deploy Scarab. Nah, screw it. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, man. Okay, so... This is a weird one because driving the rover. Okay, hold on. I got to say this before I drive off and just get all Dukes of Hazard with it here. So, driving the rover in the yaw is a kind of a cool experience, other than flight, because you actually have a surface, you feel surfaced, okay? Um, and you you start feeling the contours of the planet, like you start feeling the subtle movements to the left and the right and the, the up and the down. And like I said, even just the smallest amount of motion combined with the, oh, like, like see right there, I, I almost felt like I caught air. Um, but hold on, I got a little hair in my mask here. Um, even the slightest amount of motion from the chair is enough to really enhance this. Oh, whoa. Oh, what did I do? Ah! It's enough to really enhance this entire 
experience. Well, see, like, like, like right there. It's like it's just it's knocking me all over the. I mean, you're you're just feeling it. So I don't know. I know enough. Blah blah blah. I just it is so hard for us as VR content creators sometimes to convey what it is we're seeing and feeling to people who might be watching this uh, or might watch the playback later on down the road um, that, that have never used VR. So, oh, no, oh, I rolled it, oh, rolled it. Whoa, 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 Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, okay, whoa. So, even a vet like me, this can get you a little dizzy here. I mean, you know, we're doing tight, tight turns, and we're, we're, so, uh, yeah, but, oh, I love it. Oh, and I, especially that feeling of, I don't know, it's something about the, I think it's the vibration, because you, it just stops rumbling, or the rumble gets just low enough to where it really kind of feels like I just caught air. I mean, what the what? I love the slow gravity on Mercury. Oh, I kind of messed up my hole there. All right. Oh, oops. Let's see if this works. Board ship. Okay, executing now. Stand by. <laughs> there it is. You know, and and I, you know, I cannot stress enough how useful of a tool voice attack is, man. You know, especially for newcomers to VR, if you don't know what I'm talking about, grab a copy of Voice Attack, especially if you play any flight games that you're going to need like 50 million macros and buttons or you know any of the the more advanced role playing stuff cuz then you can just set all that as long as it's keyboard commands and you know you can just easily set it right to a a voice command and then of course you, you hear the ship talking back to me you might have if you didn't join the stream you know earlier in the stream i did this whole little conversation about vulcans and star trek and all that and it was kind of neat because you can get conversational with it it has thousands critical message yeah really okay what well, i didn't realize i had a mission <laughs> open com comms open open comms remember what the command is for that see I'm talking about voice attack but now you do need to remember the commands so oops. Oh. analysis mode what I don't even know man it's been a while since I played this so okay let me do this let me jump back over into the chat for just a second here um, and uh, make sure that there is even anybody still watching out there. Yeah, we still got a couple people watching. Um, so, um, uh, and how long have we been going here? We've been going roughly right at one hour. So, you know, I think we are going to, to go ahead and cap the stream here, guys. Um, you know, I, I don't want to make this super long. And like I said, it's 1030. It's Friday night. I, people got better stuff to do. And I want to go watch Eternals. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, if you came by tonight, thank you so much. I know it's been a while since there's been uh, content on my channel. That's going to change uh, now that I'm back to having a regular job, regular schedule. Uh, things are getting better. People are not sick. It's, you know, so hopefully things will be back to normal and we're going to march towards.
towards that 10,000 subscriber mark here really soon. Got 600 left to go. So if anybody watches the playback of this or if you're watching this live stream, do me a solid if you haven't already, you know, click the subscribe. I know everybody does that and I hate being that guy, but you do it. You click the subscribe, ring the bell, all that. Um, help me out, man. Help me get there. And uh, I, I, I definitely will be back. So, all right. Um, if anybody didn't grab it already, uh, you know, it's uh, this game code that I just posted in the uh, the chat is actually for a thirty dollar Oculus uh, gift store uh, gift card. Um, it is good for continental United States only, and it is uh, only good until the end of the month. So, grab that and redeem it. Um, it works on uh, Quest Two. Um, so, I, I hope you enjoyed the stream. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off. Peace.